In this demonstration, what we're going to do is we're going to create a virtual machine through Virtual Machine Manager. We're going to place it on host, and then what we're going to do is store it in the library so that we can deploy it a little bit later on. So all we're going to do here in our Virtual Machines tab is just create a new virtual machine. So we have this in place. Next thing we're going to do here is we're actually just going to use an existing virtual machine template or virtual hard disk. Browse through here, and the one we're looking for here is just our core test VHD. So that's the one that we're going to use for actually deploying this virtual machine. So click OK at this point here. Then what we'll do, select our next button. What we're going to call the virtual machine here is just test VM. And in the case of description, VM is for testing purposes only. So we've now done that. So then we'll click our next button. In the case of our virtual hardware, what we're going to do is just come to the processor first of all, and we're just going to select for the processor 2.4 gigahertz Pentium 4. We're then going to come to the memory, specify gigabyte of RAM. Network location, not too fussed about. So in the case of the network adapter, we're not going to really specify anything different here. So we'll click our next button. We're then going to place it on the host. So select our next button. We're going to specify NYC host 1. Specify the default location for the virtual machine path. Stick it on the external network at this point here. Select next. And on the additional properties, all we're going to do is specify the fact that we're using Windows Server 2008 Enterprise Edition. Click our next button. Click our create button. And then what it's going to do is going to create the virtual machine. So what we'll do is we'll just actually pause the video at this point here and wait for the virtual machine to be created. Okay, virtual machine's now been created. The next thing we want to do here is we've tested it. We're fairly happy that the virtual machine works. So what we're now going to do is we're going to place it in the library so that an administrator at a later date can then take that virtual machine and place it onto one of their production hosts. So to actually move the virtual machine into the virtual machine library, all we're going to do here is highlight NYC host one. Then what we're going to do is just go to our test VM, right click on here, and what we want to do is we want to store this virtual machine in the library. So down to store library. We need to select our library server, we've only got the one. So we specify our library server, click our next button, browse through the path, and what we want to do here is just actually store it in the library itself. Click OK. Click our next button, read our summary, click store. As we can see now, it's moving the virtual machine from the production host or the test host, being NYC host one, and it's moving into the library. So at a later date, we can take that virtual machine and deploy it onto a production NYC host two server. So pause the video just while it's storing. So as we can now see, this job's now finished, so completed. So the virtual machine's now stored in the library. So all we'll do here, close down this view, come down to our library, and as we can see, we've now got test VM sitting in our library. Next thing we will do in the next demo is we'll actually deploy this virtual machine back out to a host. Thanks very much.